Hello and welcome to our new YouTube series on UiPath Communications Mining. In this series, we'll dive into how UiPath's powerful tool can transform your unstructured electronic communications like emails, tickets, or survey responses into organized actionable data. We will explore how to use this data to drive better decisions, generate insights, or trigger automations for your organization. Before getting into communications mining, let's understand what problem communications mining can be solved. I mean, why do we need communications mining? So let's take an example scenario. So assume you have a support team. You have a support team. Maybe the support team can be SAP support team. So whenever the user needs a password i mean password reset for example he his account got blocked sap account got blocked and then he needs a password reset what will what he will do a customer will send an email for help to uh, to support team support team will receive that email and then they'll check the user account so which account for which account the sap password has to be resetted and then they solve the problem and then they'll send an email back to customer telling the uh, password reset has been completed and then customer will check that and then he so at that time he checks that his uh, reset happened only for one environment but he still needs to reset for other two or three environments again he'll send an email back to support team asking for reset to asking for password reset for other environments so like this this email chain will continuously loop this communication can be about a problem to be solved or it can be insight for an organization. For example, top level, high level management discussing about some insights. For example, for this year, the sales got increased or sales got decreased. And these communications can be insights for organization. So now these emails can be a complete distraction to the employees. That's our first problem. Second problem, so employees has to manually spend a lot of time. For example, in this case, employees have to spend a lot of time to reset, to check the emails and then reset the SAP password. It can be, it is a simple task. And for that, checking emails itself will consume a lot of time. And then doing that password reset will also consume a lot of time. So employees has to spend a lot of time. Sorry for my poor handwriting. And meanwhile, customers will expect faster resolution, which is not possible if these tasks are complete, completely manual. For example, this email chain itself might take two or three days. And then in that two days, they have to find the solution and then they have to reply back. So if it is manual, it cannot be solved. I mean, it cannot be faster. So these are our problems. So because of these com complete communications, back and forth communications, Employees get distracted, they spend a lot of time, and then these cannot be solved faster. And the solution for the other problem is communication spanning. So, what exactly is communication spanning? UiPath's communication spanning will take this entire communications. For example, before we saw the email chain, so it will take that entire communications data. It kind of it will be kind of messy, so it will take that messy data. And then it will organize into proper structure and this structured data will be used or it will help your organization to make decisions or to start a process or it can give you insights and how exactly it reads this entire communication it uses nlp nlp natural language processing is a field of ml which focuses on building systems and tools that can automatically understand or, or process natural languages the way how human does. For example, using that NLP, using an NLP techniques, communications mining will understand this communication and then it will convert into a proper formatted data. If you want to know more about NLP or ML, like what is ML and then what is AI, so I made a separate video, you can check that. Now we know what communications mining is. Now let's get back to our problem again and then let's see how this problem can be solved using 
communication smiling so firstly what do we have we'll receive an email from customer right so we will connect that email shared box to communications mining let's call it cm and then using nlp communications mining will understand this email chains and then it will come to a it will take a decision or it will show you a decision that these emails are regarding sap support so when a user sends an email for help it will automatically identifies that is it is an sap support request and then it will also find that it is to reset sap password so it will identify that that email is for sap support and then task is to do sap password and then and then since there is a task it will automatically trigger automation to reset the sap password it will get the username and then everything from from that emails and then it will trigger the automation so by this way communications mining completely eliminate the manual work here and then this will be an end to end automation that's all for today if you have any feedbacks ping in the comment section and then see you in next video thank you and happy automation